Hello everyone, and I love the Power Glove, because it's so bad. No, no, it, it, it really is bad, of course, but um, besides horrible references to the wizard, we are going to talk about something that is also bad. Something I've had for quite a bit that I got at the Goodwill, and you've seen the light gun that comes with in a few of my videos. Um... I don't even know what to really say. It's a real shame it was whipped though, but um, the Dangerous Hunts of 2011. Uh, this was originally an $80 product. Um, usually something that I don't usually go near too easily, unless I have a lot of convinced evidence that it is good, which I did not. Lots of people say it was bad. Got that at Goodwill for a half decent price. So, the case and that's pretty standard. Um, oh, look, it got stock souls inside. Sweet. Maybe I did make it. No, 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 I just can't. Um, I do want to go over something before I talk about. Now, it shows a controller layout and the move along with that. And I have spent forever on Google, on the game and everything, trying to get the control of the walk. Because it might have been its last saving grace. I could not find out how to get the DualShock control to function. And I have two theories. Either one, I can't figure it out, which is a possibility to be fair. I literally looked through options and everything. I could not find out how to change. I mean, just having the regular DualShock 3 control there, it just says, you need your wireless control connected. So, I, I don't know what the hell is up with that. But here's what I think. Here's what I think. Because this is a multiplayer game. It has a multiplayer gallery mode. I think those are only for multiplayer. Because, think about it this way. It launched at $80. Are you going to buy multiple of these? $80 a pop? Sure, you could probably try and suckle someone into buying this for a few extra bucks off your hand because you're going to be getting a few copies. But no! No, you're not going to buy multiple of these for 80 bucks a pop. So it would make sense to make an alternative ways for the multiplayer, right? So my theory is that you have to use the gun for single player and multiplayer mode, you can use other stuff. Um, if that is accurate, that is stupid. Now, if somebody, because believe me, I spent 15 minutes on Google, literally trying to find anyone who knew whether you could use the control in single player or not. And all I found was like four other topics basically asking the same thing. So my conclusion is, you have to use this for the single player story. And that's where I'll leave that at the moment. So, the light gun. Let us talk about the light gun here. So, you got multiple parts of the light gun here. And the scope part goes on like this, not the other way around. You want the, ah, down there. You want the more grayish part to be on this direction. And we'll squeeze it in there. And then you have a headbud part. Uh, that will have the USB wireless connector. It's in my PS3 still. So uh, that's where that goes. And uh, you push the little black thing here. Down. And you can pop that in. And you can adjust the headbutt piece. But to be honest. I think the whole gun's design is awful. I mean I'm not a gun person. So maybe, maybe it's just me to be mad. I will admit it could just be me. I'm not a gun person. But this butt thing, I, I know the point is like the stabilize, but this has no feedback. So to me, it just feels like in the way. So I would personally say, get rid of that. Now, I do want to mention something about the scope. Because I noticed in, um, in my horrifying source of trying to look for um, anything about the controller, I looked at a few reviews, and, like, um, I know something in a few of them. Uh, specifically, Angry Joe's. Hunter Sense. Apparently, he didn't realize that you need the scope for Hunter Sense. At least if you have in the uh, wed mode. Um, 
He didn't. He mentioned at the beginning to throw this away into a meat wine or something like that. So uh, you actually need this for a uh, hunter mode. Uh, it has a red lens in it that is like those kind of magic books that kind of clears all the interface in. So um, yeah, if you plan on doing that, you actually need this scope. But you can turn it off into classic mode, so uh, it's not required to play the game. But if you're going to do it in the wind sensor mode, you need that. So, uh, I found just simple, have it like that. Have it in classic mode, have it like that, in it. Now, the story mode, the, the gallery mode, it, the multiplayer, is just kind of on rail, shoot shit stuff kind of thing. The story mode is a lot different. Um, it's like trying to use a first person shooter with a light gun with shit on it. Uh, the analog stick on the handle controls your character going, well, forward, back, and left and right. But the problem is left and right is strifing, not turning left and right. Turning is controlled by the gun pointing towards the side of the screens. Um, this is horrible design, in my opinion, always. If you're going to make a light gun game where you actually control yourself, you should never... Never make it where the light gun game, the light gun is required to use for turning. I have never seen a light gun game do that right. Ever. Because you know what? Sensor off, your character will stand still, and Bale beats the living shit out of you for the five seconds that you try to get the fucking thing in the Wii Cowboy to your TV sensor. And it, it does have its own sensor. Uh, this is a PS3 version. Um, the 360 and PS3 version come with a sensor. Um, it's not really much to it. You pop batteries in, you turn it on. Uh, it does have a sleep mode thing on it. So um, that that's a little useful, to be honest. That's, that's a nice idea. I would assume the Wii version obviously uses probably the Wii uh, ball. But... <laughs> Now, um, on the side here, you can use the square button or the plus pad to change through your guns, which I've only found uh, three. And this analog stick on the bud uh, basically does quick turns to basically the directions. So, um, if you can use that white, you can try and use it to dodge shit. Um, in the end, it's a mess in my opinion. You got the start and select and the PSM button here on the side. Uh, and the X and O on the handle, if you didn't notice. And, and so on menus, the trigger can count as the X button, but not all the time. There's a few options where it does not. And then it has this, where you actually need to reload, as opposed to, like, old ones, where, you know, you're like this on arcade cabinets, like, back in the 90s, that. So you actually have to do this. And no, you can't just keep spamming and shit. Um, you do have to reload, or your killer's just going to... Which, uh, sadly, is annoying sometimes, considering your, uh, your rifle gun only has three ammo, your shotgun has two ammo, your handgun has the most ammo, uh, I think it's like six or seven shots. And the reason that actually comes to mind is because your first real boss fight is a bear in the third stage. The bear has an instant kill move. It, it will instantly kill you. And I'm not usually one to always, like, instant kill is alright if you do it right. Palm here is half the times it is evilly unfair, in my opinion. My opinion, my opinion. So the problem is, um, there was a, a quick time system where arrows appear on the screen and you, you basically strike your gun in the direction. And the bales makes you go whoosh and then whoosh. And then you have to target its heart to get it off. You also have to do it after you deplete its health. You have to also do this. If you fail, you die and start the whole stage over. This probably wouldn't be as bad if it wasn't for the swishing effect. Basically, again, you should never make your game encourage you to point the gun away from your television. Because that one second it's trying to recap, wait, eh? It's like, nope, 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 nope. I really, I really feel games like, I really think when you make like a light gun game, you, you need to like keep shit away from the edges of your television, you know, kind of like make the edge 
a zone that you want and you know the more middle -ish square area of your screen be where you got your shit. Because I, I just find it too problematic. I mean, it's just my experience. And believe me, uh, when you're talking about light gun games, one's experience will always be vastly different from different people. Because you have to take in the distance that you're playing, your television, your model, the height. Is it on the ground? Is it on a stand? Is it mounted to the wall? Is it wide, standard? What particular age, you know, of television it is? You know, <laughs> there's a lot of things to take in account when you do light gun shit. So... Um, my opinion, uh, my, my experience is usually games that encourage you to point away from your TV is usually bad. And this is also, um, it has like, um, if you point up or down slightly, your killer will literally stop in his tracks and look down slightly. And, um, that can be annoying when you're trying frantically, like, up to the bail, I think the game wasn't too bad. Like, the wolf segments, sure, you get a shitload of the wolves trying to fucking eat your face. But that wasn't even as bad as the bail. The bail was... Bail was the first brick wall. It's not possible. I killed it. It's fine. It was annoying, though. Very annoying. I mean, I play Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Death is not something that's going to drive me insane very much. The thing is that the swiping move of the dark, like, this was the whole wrong idea. Like, if you were going to do this bear fight and you were going to do this, you don't do a, like, three-second, I need to point the gun at the heart of the bear and shoot or I die after pointing the gun away from the television to the side, sweeping it across to do the dodge, and then trying to get the fucking crosshair to be like, come on, get on the heart, come on! Because it's stuck somewhere on the edge of the TV trying to wait for the fucking gun to we point, and it's like, oh, there you go. And of course, by that time, the bear has mauled and killed you, and you're still over it. That seems like bad design to me. I really don't understand why developers who make light gun games always like to put shit on edges of your television where you will encourage the point away and it causes control issues. Now when it's on whales, it's not that bad. But this game ain't on whales as explained. You you move around in this open world. It's linear for the most part, but you have control of your character. Which, um, I don't think is a horrible idea. I thought it was very interesting in the, uh, Wasn't the Evil, uh, title, um, damn, I, I have it on the whack behind the camera. Um, what, uh, Dead Aim? Dead Aim, I thought, was kind of an interesting setup for a light gun game. Not perfect at all, but, uh, it was, it was interesting. And you could use the controller, too. So, if you didn't like the light gun and you have trouble with it, um, I tried it out. I went to the control after a while in Dead Aim, but it still was alright, too. But overall, uh, while this thing looks awesome, it's very nicely designed, in my opinion, in its standard form, I really do not like this. Um, I know what the full, like I said, they're for stabilizing because, you know, when you shoot guns, they usually go, they have a recoil effect, so that's supposed to help you stabilize it. So you're not, <laughs> but, um, you know, there's no rumble or anything, so it's kind of just for me looks, and it's just kind of annoying in my opinion, so... And the reason I find it really more annoying is if you're going to actually use this, it just it makes it, in my opinion, hard to see down the scope when it's here. So, so I couldn't use a regular control on that. So, the control looks nice. And the game, I think, had some promise to it. But, really, it's, it just keeps getting harder. Uh, the next area, you go to Africa, and you start fighting alligators and shit, and the alligators are annoying, because they, they're fairly quiet for the most part, and sneak up. Now, the AI is pretty wonky, too, like the, uh, the, uh, tiger kugels, I, th I think they were kugels, but, um... Like, they have, like, I, I was near, like, this ice water, and it, like, leaped into the ice water, and it got, like, stuck in the water, and 
gave me free shots. I saw another one uh, just fucking do a weird wound thing. I don't even know. It, it was like it was like confused, like oh, uh, 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 in this like little area here, in the snowy area. Uh, after you get separated from your family, uh, I don't know. The AI is a little. Eh. I didn't experience some of the stuff that Angry Joe saw, where uh, they were just sitting still. I didn't actually experience that. Whatever I did see was just kind of more weird pathfinding effects. So, hmm. In the end, would I recommend this game? If you got it from incredibly cheap, with the gun, because unless somebody can tell me otherwise how to use the DualShock 3 with it, as far as I understand, you'll need this for the single player. But if if you want to get this game for a few little chuckles, get it cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I wouldn't pay more than 10 bucks for it. And of course, that's really hard to argue with a seller who's trying to sell all this shit that comes with it. You know, he'll be like, oh, look, it comes with all this shit. It must be at least like, you know, 30 bucks or something, right? <laughs> So, good luck doing that, because that's basically what I paid. I think it was 30 bucks I got the, this from the Goodwill. And, yeah, that's... I don't really... I don't really recommend it, to be honest. It it was a little interesting in the beginning, but it, it just got... It, it started falling downhill after the bear in Africa. And the story gets a little interesting. Apparently, like, there's some weird shit happening with the animals. Uh... It kind of seems like it's hinting at, like, somebody is, like, controlling the animals or something, and they're making them do shit, so. But I didn't get in quite before, so. Um, but, in the end, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I, I would not recommend it. I, I'm i sadly disappointed, because I was actually, uh, when when I just decided to try it for the first time, even after having it so long, I, I was just like... I mean, it, this was a 2011. We've had light gun games even before the NES. Fuck, actually, the first console had a fucking light gun. Uh, the the um, the Odyssey. The Odyssey had a light gun. Or what? Or was that the Odyssey two? I know one. Of, no, it was the Odyssey one. The Odyssey one had a revolver, didn't it? I don't know. There's was, there was shit, but even before the NES, they had a fucking. Light gun. And it's two, this was 2011. We still can't make half decent light gun games for three to six. It's such a whale thing to find a really good light gun. They they they, they exist. They exist. They'll have the hell. But it's really hard. And, and you know, in the in the standards of how the modern consoles are, they keep having to make all these unique ways for sensor bars and stuff that are making me remind me of the power glove because I, I i mean like the one for uh time crisis uh three i think it's time crisis three on the ps3 um it, it had an exact setup that was a lot like the power glove with shit going around your tv it is um but yeah, uh, aside from the gun looking really cool, the game's just not really awesome. So I'm sure I will make much use of this gun in future videos and stuff to randomly point around and be like, Yeah, see the crazy? Now it's all on the opposite side of the gun. But uh, in the end, I, I don't. Oh, you know, I'm going to try this game again. Um, it was really a bad force of question, to be honest. I think if I could have actually used the control, it probably would have worked better. Because you want to know why? Because it would have probably worked like a first person shooter. Which of course would take away the effect of a light gun. So, I, I don't really understand how the fuck you get the dual shock to work though. It shows in the book. But I, I, I'm I pretty sure it just doesn't work with the fucking single player because I couldn't figure it out. But really, if you actually know, if you really, I mean, wait, seriously, if you actually know how to get a DualShock 3 to work with this game on its single player, let me know. Because, believe me, I looked on Google. Nobody really seems to know. So, yeah. That's my first questions. That's my two cents. 
I would avoid it unless you get for way cheap with its fucking gun to a price you feel comfortable. I would say, in my personal preference, ten dollars. Like I said, I don't think it's worth any more than that. That, and it, it's just. Ugh. Just try to put this thing away. I don't know. I do have to commend it, though. Uh, unlike the, um, what was it, the Silent Scope light gun for the original Xbox, it at least isn't, um, it's comfortable in hand, though. I'll give it that. I'll definitely give it that. Um, if anyone remembers with the Silent Scope, um, it has a lot of weight in the front of it. So, it kind of has that, like, if you play a DS for a long time, where you kind of feel like your hands are getting tired holding the weight of the top portion, um, it has that weight in the front that really makes you feel sluggish over time. So, uh, this one feels a lot more light on that, so it's definitely more comfortable in that sense. But, you know, comfortability is not a whole lot if the game's not functional functions correctly with it as well. It's not bad. It's... it's... Okay, we'll be fine. The beginning of it was not bad. Like I said, to the wolves, it wasn't too bad. It was a little eh, wonky of that, but I just really feel after the bail and past that, it just started becoming too much. Like, I think if they added some kind of dash feature... That would have actually been, uh, made this probably more playable, actually. Like, if you say, like, if they just made it where you flick that, and you turn it in the opposite direction, and say, like, hit O or something, like, you know, you have that, hit O, and let, make you a dash or something, that could have actually maybe made more useful, because let me tell you, wolves and shit will hunt you down and fucking corner you and knock you shit because your character is like like there's no running feature so he's not like in the i mean oh look, crocodiles lions and bears i'm not in any meat danger i'll take my time and then they just basically pounce on you and eat you and down there in the corner of the ground so it's it really feels like there could have been some something really good there. It just it see it feels like lost potential because the light gun stuff is really dying out more and more. Um, there's so many few companies trying to do light gun games, and I really feel that's why a lot of them keep going towards the Wii. Now, to be fair, like I did mention. You can use the move, and several people online did say the move is much better than this gun. So, that might be another thing to point out. While I can't test out the move myself because I don't own one, maybe in the future when I eventually do get one at some point, maybe I'll come back and give a wee force to pushings with the move, but... As it stands, I only have other people's wards to go after that. So, perhaps if you have a move, you could go with that, because obviously then you don't need the light gun if you're using the move. So, some people say that's more accurate, and that's a possibility, because after all, light gun games work pretty well on the Wii, in my opinion, so why the fuck not when they work uh, pretty nicely on the fucking move? But again, I've never even played the move yet, so. That's my two cents, and, you know... Didn't I always deja vu this? Pfft. Stop yapping and go for the button. Okay, anyway, thank you for checking out. And seriously, if anyone knows how to use DualShock 3 control and single player, let me know. I'd really like to know. Anyway, peace out. Thank you for checking out.